what I do so first thing in the morning is I wipe my phone over there, like over here, and I record myself over there posing. Um, I use that mirror sort of to gauge any poses that I'm hitting from um, the rear, like a rear double bicep. I'll hit over there um, and then. Um, I'll play it back to myself and screenshot sort of the few poses and then compare them to the next morning. Um, reason I do it first thing in the morning is because I'm gassed, I'm tired, I'm already really, really knackered. So if I pose when I'm knackered and I practice it so that it becomes easy when I'm knackered, then when I'm getting on stage, I'm pumped up, I've got carbs in me, well, got carbs in me anyway but you know I'm, I'm I've got that energy and that adrenaline it will become hopefully easier now I'm not going to say it will become easier because it's never easy I'm <laughs> doing like rounds of posing is never easy it's never going to be easy at all so um you know but I do that so I can make it sort of difficult in the morning um and then you know when I'm on stage it should hopefully become easier so, a little bit more of a tour, I guess. I've got over there, I've got another mirror <laughs> and my trophy from the BMBF, BMBF Midlands and, uh, and some posing tracks. Yeah. Um, and over here is uh, my latest mirror. So, yeah. It's a full length mirror, so you can do all your posing, all kinds of posing in this mirror. Um, so yeah, um, that's, that's the one I, I use mostly, um, but I don't, I don't, I, I just to judge my physique off that one, I don't, I don't really like record anything using that because you're not going to have a mirror on stage, so right, I thought I'd just show you guys the finished product of Toasty. So, here we are. Oh, and some rice cakes and apple and cinnamon ribito. Those are banging, by the way. Banging. So we're at the gym. Uh, We've arrived. My life, yeah. my story. Just sort of show you what the, uh, what the outside looks like. Hey guys, so back with another update. Um, currently one week out, recording this sort of voiceover. Um, on this upper body session today um, this was completed sort of a few days ago um, and I've only really got around to doing the voiceover now um, been pretty busy been pretty busy with my online work um, and also my personal training um, so all's going well um, and I'm sort of very much looking forward to the show now um, can probably tell by my voice that I'm sort of a bit tired, a bit run down. Um, I've been, <clears throat> since sort of this day, um, I've been uh, sort of on my, my lower uh, days in terms of macros, um, leading into the finals where I'm obviously going to um, refeed and have a good um, uh, so I'm sort of taking a, a, an approach which is called a backload, which is where you sort of load carbohydrates about you know one to two days out from the show. It seemed to work well for me last time for my qualifier. Um, and if anyone knows me, then they know I like to keep things simple. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be doing something that I know works well for me. Um, so yeah, that's sort of an update on what's been going on with me. Um, something I just wanted to maybe <clears throat> cover today was um, refeeds. Now, I sort of it's a bit of a topic which leads to plenty of discussion um, and arguments, um, but. It, it, you know, some people agree with them, some people don't, and I'm not saying that my opinion is correct or gospel by any means, but from my experience, um, refeeds are a great way to um, keep the fat loss going um, to an extent, um, or to simplify how, how they benefit you in a contest prep. Um, so, 
but I have not been refeeding this high for all my contest prep. So if you look at my refeeds, you will think, wow, you know, <laughs> how's he refeeding with 700 grams um, and not, you know, gaining or going up too much in weight. Um, I actually didn't gain weight after this refeed. Um, but um, ignoring that, um, refeeds should be implemented, um, but gradually and at a level that you can sort of adjust and as you get leaner I believe in my opinion refeed should be increased to a point where you're responding well enough so that you know that they're, they're actually benefiting you in terms of you know your workouts are getting better post refeed uh, maybe your physique looks better in response to the refeed um, you know more carbohydrates coming in um, is always you know, usually is a good thing for a depleted or a you know a run down uh, physique. So I tend to maybe um, you know prior to my refeed look maybe a little bit like a marathon runner, um, and then you know post refeed I might I might turn into more of a bodybuilder. Um, but that's something I just sort of wanted to cover. Um, you know don't go and refeed with 700 grams if you're like 10 weeks out from your show or something um just you know take it easy um work out um uh, something that works for you um and really sort of go from there um i don't recommend doing anything crazy um or manipulating things to an extent where you, you know you, you you can't judge the outcome um so prior to you know implementing refeed you should really know how well or, or, or what what sort of macro ratio you respond to um, but other than that just um, you know my top tip would just be to you know keep on going you know if you if you're not happy with where you are in terms of your physique and you'd like to get leaner just you know keep going keep digging and um, you know whether you have to drop macros or increase cardio then um, you know it's, it's just a matter of, of keeping on going and being um, sort of you know, giving yourself enough time um, to, to get down to you know your goal um, physique or uh, level of leanness um, so yeah top tip uh, give yourself enough time um, and I think I'll be making a video on that soon um, about sort of the length of my contest prep and and sort of the changes that I've seen in terms of my macros and stuff along the way that I've, I think people would be interested in seeing. Um, so yeah, I think that pretty much calls it a day on this voiceover. Um, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you soon. See you later.